let's evaluate derivatives for some more uh, functions. At point e, let me take the function y equals 2x at power 3 plus 3x at power 2 minus 1. So basically in this example, we're going to use pretty much all those five rules that we uh, studied in the lesson. But what you need to remember every time you evaluate a function, try to differentiate the function from the outside in or from the overall to the smallest detail, right? The order of operation as you know it, it maintains. Hopefully you're going to understand what I just told you a lot better by uh, watching these examples that I'm uh, going to present to you. Anyway, in this particular instance, like I said, what I notice is I have a sum and a difference of some expressions. So let's start just with that because I'm not going to evaluate absolutely everything in the first step. And the first step is going to be applying the sum and the difference rule. Let's write dy dx equals to d dx of 2x at power 3 plus d dx of 3x at power 2 minus d dx of 1. I just applied the sum and the difference rule actually because of the expression that we had. Overall we had basically a sum and a difference between three terms. Now we're going to have three smaller uh, derivatives and we already experienced what is the derivative of a function like that with a constant multiple and the variable of the power, right? So this is going to be 2, the constant, times the power of that uh, variable 3 times x at power uh, 3 minus 1, as we know by the rule, by the power rule. And now we move on plus the second derivative. It's basically the same uh, rules we're going to apply, the constant multiple rule and the power rule all together. So it's going to be 3, the constant, times the power 2, times the variable x to the power what initially was 2 minus 1. And uh, we move on to the last derivative, which is uh, d dx of 1. This is the derivative of a constant. We know this is 0. So I'm going to write minus 0. And now all we need to do is simplify this expression because it doesn't look very pretty as it is. And it's very easy to simplify this expression. It's going to be 6x squared plus 6x. And you notice how we have a factor in there of uh, 6x. We don't like to write these things uh, repetitively like that. So I'm going to uh, simplify this even more by factoring 6x times x plus 1. So you see, it's actually a very simple example, but uh, we applied all the rules, all those five rules. Let's try some other examples, because you're going to encounter something like this next uh, function, where y equals to 1 over x. As I recall, I have shown you this example, and I solved it using the first principle definition of the derivative. I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to show you, using the new rules, how much faster it is to calculate uh, the derivative of something uh, of a function such as this. The only problem is 1 over x as it is, it's a quotient after all, right? So one very efficient way to solve something such as this is uh, get rid of that denominator. And the way you can do that is playing with the power of this uh, variable x. So I can rewrite this 1 over x as x at power minus 1. You should actually be very familiar with the properties of the powers at this stage because we're going to work with these powers quite a bit. So now what I have is just x at a particular power. It's a negative power, but it makes no difference. We can apply very easily the power rule like we applied it earlier with positive powers. So let's actually evaluate the derivative dy dx. It's going to be d dx of x at power minus 1. And like I said, I'm going to just take the power, which is minus 1, multiply by the variable x at power, what it was, minus 1, minus 1. And now all we have to do is uh, simplify these expressions. So it's going to be minus x, because we don't write that 1 anymore, and the power is going to be minus 2, right? Because minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. A negative power is not a very well received by many people, 
So we like to, to rewrite this expression with a positive power. It's going to be just as simple as saying minus 1 over x at power 2. Positive this time. Let's try some uh, more example with this kind of uh, approach. So at uh, point g, let's take the function y equals to uh, radical of order 5 from x. Once again, I don't have a formula for dealing with uh, roots of any kind. A root can very easily be expressed as a power. So let's rewrite this uh, radical as a power. It's going to be x at power 1 over 5. Now with this rational power we can apply very easily the power rule just like before. So dy dx is going to be d dx of x at power 1 by 5. And based on the power rule the result is going to be the power itself 1 over 5 times x to the power 1 by 5 minus 1. So it's just the, the power rule applied directly. Now let's uh, simplify this expression. It's going to be 1 by 5 x to the power 1 by 5 minus 1 is going to give us minus 4 by 5. Right? But once again we have this negative power which is not looking very uh, pretty. Most people don't like to have negative powers in their results. So um, Let's rewrite this as a positive power. It's going to be 1 over 5 times and move that uh, x at power 4 by 5 in the denominator as well. And also, uh, rational uh, powers are not very popular neither. So we probably want to express this as a root instead of a rational uh, power. So let's rewrite it again in the following form. 1 over 5 times and that power 4 by 5 it's actually representing a radical of order 5 and the power 4 remains at the variable so from x at power 4. So as long as you handle the properties of the powers these type of problems are quite fun. Let me try one more example of this sort h. Consider the function y equals to minus 1 over square root of x. And once again we have to get rid of that uh, x in the denominator and the square root. I'm trying to combine a couple of uh, issues that we don't really have a formula for but all we have to do is rewrite this expression in such a form that we can actually handle it. So we can always express it as a power. So all we have to do is express these quotients and uh, radicals, roots, we can express them as powers. So in this expression, first of all, we need to get rid of that uh, square root. So I'm going to continue expressing this as minus 1 over x at power 1 by 2. That's what square root means. And because it's in the denominator, I cannot handle a quotient at this time. I don't have a rule for that. So I'm going to get rid of uh, denominator by putting all this denominator making it uh, a numerator. So this expression can be rewritten as minus x to the power negative 1 by 2. So now if we have this it's easy to apply the power rule. Therefore I'm gonna say dy dx is d dx of minus x at power minus 1 by 2 and now we can evaluate the derivative is going to be minus. It is that minus in front that's basically minus 1 right? It's a constant multiple. Don't get confused by simple things like that. I'm going to continue to keep that negative sign in front, so it's minus, and then multiply by the power, which is minus 1 by 2, let's put this in parentheses, times x at power minus 1 by 2, which was there, minus 1. And again, let's simplify this expression, because it can be so much nicer. The two negative signs in the front become positive, so I am not going to write anything anymore. And then we have 1 by 2 multiplied by x at power. The exponent is going to be calculated by uh, bringing the 1 at the same common denominator, 2. So multiply that 1 with 2. And that's going to result in minus 3 by 2. And now uh, you see we have this negative exponent. We make it positive 
by putting it uh, in the denominator. So it's going to be 1 over 2 times x to the power 3 by 2. And it's a rational exponent. We don't like that. We're going to even uh, continue to say equals to 1 over 2 square root of x to the power 3. And this is basically the simplest form we can express this uh, derivative now.